3. Density of saline solutions and the materials needed to complete the experiment. I've got my uh, 3 milliliter plastic pipette. I've got my markings on it so that I know this is the one I've previously calibrated. Although, uh, if you don't have the one you've calibrated from a previous experiment, then uh, please uh, make sure you mean anyone will do. I've also got my uh, 50 and 100 milliliter plasticware beakers. I've got my 500 milliliter plastic beaker. This is going to be used to hold my 400 milliliters of uh, distilled water. I've got my waste beaker. I've got my 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, 50.0 milliliter graduated cylinder. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is a little wet. Uh, we will talk about uh, the difference between clean and dry and wet and when we need to condition um, as this 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and what we will condition it with each time. I've also got my uh, temperature probe. Um, it is a parts per million water quality probe that we've been using all along, but it does have temperature function so uh, and in degrees Celsius which is really cool. I've got my scale that records uh, 200 uh, plus grams to 0 0.01 gram accuracy. And I've got two types of salt here. Uh, if this was in a chemistry lab, we would provide 99.9% .9 or pure sodium chloride. We're gonna be using for this experiment uh, sodium chloride or salt uh, over the counter, and I've got two different kinds here. I've got sea salt, um, coarse, and I've got iodized salt. And uh, effectively, if you use table salt of any kind, it will work for this experiment. Um, if you look at the set of ingredients here, you can see that table salt includes more than just salt. It includes very low percentages of other materials, um, but it is, uh, I would guess, uh, definitely 99% uh, sodium chloride and probably higher. Those are just small additives to it. Um, then there's my sea salt, and uh, its ingredients include clean South Pacific sea salt. Um, and again, sea salt will have small uh, contaminants other than sodium chloride uh, not even listed on this but so neither of these is perfect neither of these is 100% pure sodium chloride which is what we'd use in the lab or uh, even in the lab it's usually 99.9% but the key to this is use the salt that you have there's no need to get special salt the experiment works with any type of salt you can get and if you have any questions, please ask your instructor to make sure. But I'm pretty sure that if it says salt or iodized salt or sea salt, that it will work just fine for this experiment.